Hello, I'm Max Tucker Lewis, your source for all things Everton. I'm Jay Pelton, I'm here to talk about Everton's latest signing, Oral Mangala, on loan from Leon. Obviously, went there in the summer after being on loan for Nottingham Forest, and then you know, within sort of six months, um, or sort of six, seven, eight months of being there, he's now back in the Premier League at Everton. Whether this is also you know, an influence of John Textor, who knows, but you'd imagine so. It kind of came out of nowhere Tuesday night, and then before you know it, as things do. Towards the deadline, they moved pretty quickly, but um, I'm I'm pleased with the signing. I think this is a good move for Everton. I think any first team player who comes in as a freebie or a loan, it's probably going to be solid enough work for Everton because it means that we're not eating away huge wages. Um, transfer fees aren't an issue, um, and it just means we have a bit more of a stopgap. Obviously, it's going to be an option to buy him at the end of the year. Obviously, obviously. See how he gets on, see if we can, you know, potentially afford that. But obviously we hope he does well and we we can look to do that towards the end of the season. But um yeah, I think there's an area where Everton did need one more player. You know, last season we had the, the three lads we've got now, um I in mean, Decore, Garner and Just and then we lost Onana and we've lost um Andre Gomez. Irabuvan's come in to, to replace Onana effectively and then Gomez didn't have a huge impact on the side, don't get me wrong, but just in terms of having another body there, let's the Corey play further forward, gives it just a gay arrest, who's not getting younger, we don't want to review to play in loads of games, in fact, we'd probably rather him play like a Gomez role in terms of playing, I don't know, six, half a dozen to a dozen games in the season. Uh, he started the season really well, don't get me wrong, but he's very young and we don't want to put loads of pressure on him, so I think it helps his development. James Garner's just come back from injury and has had a couple of injuries since he's been at Everton, so we'll see how he gets on there. But um, no, I think there's an area where Everton did need one more body, other areas of the pitch, yeah, probably more pressing, probably another forward player, probably another fullback more than we needed the centre mid, but I think we did need someone in there. And, and Mangala's got decent pedigree, as I say. He was at Forest last season. And when he left in January, it felt like felt very strange. I know a lot of Forest fans thought that was going to be a big impact on them staying up, actually. Obviously they managed it in the end like we did, but um they were certainly concerned when he when he left the club, he had a good start of the season. Um and I think it's always nice when you sign players who've Prove they can do it in the Premier League. He's a good shielder in front of the back four. Slightly different to Idrissa Gay in the sense that I think he's probably a bit more of an anchor than Gay, who might go up and press higher up. Obviously, he scored a few goals last season, bizarrely. But um, I think in terms of his, his numbers, in terms of aerial duels, winning the ball, back ball recoveries, they're all really strong. He's confident on the ball. He can run with the ball. Press a pass is on too bad either. So I think this is a player who's fitting a Dyke system quite well. Got the Premier League experience, he's not costing an arm and a leg to sign, and he just gives us a bit more insurance in that area because you know, we're one injury away from playing sort of you know, gay or irabu and decor in midfield. I think he wants to see that. We want decorey further up. We don't want to be in a scenario where we're having to play, you know, someone like a Mason Holgate in centre mid, which um obviously we had to do a few years ago and we had loads of injuries. So I think packing out that midfield area is good for Everton. I'm sure you'll play a decent role this season. So let me know your thoughts down below on this signing. Do you think of our transfer window so far? Players who've signed, players who've let go, that sort of thing. So let me know down below and we'll see you next time.